Hope you guys enjoy my braid dancing. What up, it's me A to Z, we're back with more Pokemon Black. Last time, we finally arrived at the magnificent Opelousid City, filled with technology, neon lights, it looks amazing, it's got tech-ass music, it's sick, I love this city, it's one of my favorite cities in the game. And uh, we explored a little bit, we saw Getsis again, and then we met Drayden, yeah, we ran to Iris again, and they actually told us the full story about the uh, creation of Unova and the two legendary dragon types, Reshiram and Zekrom. We don't know how to awaken Reshiram, but maybe we'll get more leads on it later on. Anyway, uh, there is a path out here. We cannot go through this path yet. Don't worry about it. There's really nothing for us there anyway. But our goal for today is to go into Appaloosa Gym. Our final challenge, our final gym. The Spartan Mayor Drayden. Time to go, guys. I hope you're as ready as I am. And there's Clyde the Guide. Welcome to Opelousa Gym, the Unova region's strongest and biggest trial. First off, please take this fresh water. It'll help you on the challenge ahead. And our final fresh water. Thanks, Clyde. I greatly appreciate it. Let me give you a brief explanation uh, of the trick to Opelousa Gym. The path around this gym is shaped like two dragons. This path changes when you step on the switches on the dragon's arms. Pay attention to how the dragon's next move. So yeah, this gym has a very interesting gimmick. Oh, also, I guess I should mention, uh, the type of this gym. The Dragon Gym in Opelousa City is where tough trainers show where they can carve out their own path. So, in case you couldn't tell, uh, this gym is full of Dragon types. So, guess who's gonna be our star player here? Polly? You, you wanna handle this, buddy? <laughs> I think you'll be fine here. <laughs> Polly's got this big time, and that's the reason why I haven't been leveling him up that much. Is because Polly's going to single-handedly take on this gym. Single-handedly. Polly's got this gym all, all, figured, all figured out by himself. So we don't need any interference. Because really, to be honest, dragon types are just tough in general, and they resist a lot of things. So Kevin, Carmine, and Jonathan would not be overly useful. Tony and Will, maybe, but this is really where Paul's gonna shine. This is gonna be Paul's shiny moment as we go through this gym here. And, uh, well, you'll see this gimmick of this gym, that there's a bunch of dragons. Anyway, so once we hop over here, and then we gotta fight this trainer, You'll see that these trainers don't just have fractures. They will actually have another Pokemon with them, as you're going to see right now. I'm kind of giving it away. Well, they're also going to have Drudagons, you know, sooner or later. But, you'll see this girl has a Dino. Now, Dino is a Pokemon we cannot catch until a little bit later, but oh, Dino. Mm. This thing is a very interesting Pokemon, and I'm going to have so many things to say about it once we cover it during its bio. It's a Dark type, by the way, so, um, Polly knows X-Scissor. We're good to go. boy, Polly. You got this. This this gym is all you. This gym is all you. You don't need any help with this one. <laughs> so again, like I said, this is the reason why I didn't uh, level up Polly compared to everybody else. Because he's going to get surges in levels. Also, I gave him the lucky egg, so he's really going to get a surge in experience. Alright, so since we landed on this switch, uh, the dragon's right arm went up. You have to jump on it off of, a, uh, off of a higher platform instead of just walking on it. So the, the dragon's right arm moved up. So since its right arm moved up, its head moved to the left. So that's how this gym is going to work. If you jump on uh, one of the dragon's arms, the head will move in the opposite direction. If both arms are up, the head will move up. If both arms are down, the head will move down. It's a bit of a tricky, um, a bit of a tricky mechanic, but it's not, you know, it's not impossible to figure out. All right, I'm sending another fracture again. This is this is Polly's moment to shine. Polly's gonna kill everything here, and we're gonna outspeed everything because oh, you know, he doesn't even have Mold Breaker, the fool. Mold Breaker is easily the best ability for uh, fracture. <laughs> Whatever. Polly's got this. He's gonna he's gonna ruin. He's gonna ruin this gym. All right, good job. Polly might hit level 45 at the end of this, but this is literally perfect battling for Polly right now. Nobody else needs to get involved. Anyway, this gym I actually liked it a lot. I love the design of it, and I love what they do with it in uh, the sequel to this game, Pokemon Black and White 2. I love what they do with it. But this mechanic is pretty cool as well. If anything, I love the music that they have, um, you know, in Black and White 2 when you're in this gym. I wish that that music was playing right now, because that music is incredibly epic. Anyway, both dragon's arms are up, so its head will move up. So now we can actually climb our way up. That path will just lead us back. And you kind of don't want to do that, because you will have to land on the arm switch again, and that will just kind of screw up your momentum right here. Alright, we got another one of you. Now, I'll say this. This is easily the longest gym in Unova. Easily. There are so many trainers here, and the whole puzzle of it just makes it seem even longer. And you do have to fight every trainer. So, this is the longest gym in Unova by far. So, if you don't have anything to deal with these dragon types, you will struggle. 
because you have a lot of trainers to fight and you might want to have items with you so you don't have to travel back to the Pokemon Center because you are going to have to redo the puzzle again. It's just like Candace's gym in Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum, where if you exit, the snowballs reappear. Anyway, Polly will hit level 45. God, Polly, you are really climbing up right now. All right. Your Pokemon seems happy just hanging around with you. Well, Polly's my bro. Polly and I are bros, man. Don't question our friendship. All right. So I think once we go through here... All right. So here's the next dragon. This is actually the dragon that leads to the gym leader. But since both uh, hands are down, the head is down and we can't do anything about it. So what we want to do is go back down here and fight this guy. Thanks for coming. I happily welcome you. But I may be a little rough on you. Hang on. We're talking about Pokemon battles, right? Please tell me we're talking about Pokemon battles. Because that's one of the most suggestive innuendo -y lines I've ever heard. I'm sorry I had to go there, but it's just, you can't let that slip. Like, there's some shit that'll fly under the radar. I'm surprised that did. Just kind of like that line in Ocarina of Time where it's like, If I were as handsome as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> I don't understand how this shit slips through the radar. Oh, uh, Nintendo. See, you're not for kids because you actually have hidden adult jokes. Anyway, uh, we don't want to go through here. Instead, we want to go here. And this will actually raise uh, the head, make it go to the right. But it doesn't make it easy and have it loop around. We instead have to go down these stairs and have we have to deal with another whole dragon. So like I said, it is the longest gym for a reason because there are actually three dragons that you have to deal with. But there's tons of like actual dragons. And again, there's really, I just realized the symbolism. There are three actual dragons that you have to change the heads for. And then there are three different dragon type Pokemon that you fight. And he has all three of them. You're going to be fighting Dinos, Fractures, and Drudagons. <laughs> I think he has a Drudagon. I don't know. I know he has a Dino and a Fracture for a fact. I don't know if he has a Drudagon as well. He might. We'll, we'll find out once we kill this Dino with X-Scissor. Because it's a Dark type. This is good that I don't have to waste all my Dragon Claws. I should have an Aether in hand. Because you are going to be using pretty much... It's just going to be Dragon Claw. Draw, cl dragon Claw the whole time. All right, Polly. Claw this one up. God, we're getting to this gym like quicker than I thought I would. This, since this is a long gym, this is pretty much going to be the whole episode. Me just fighting um, through the gym and then fighting Drayden. Polly hits level 46. Also, be careful because uh, these Drudagons... I knew he had Drudagon. Okay, perfect. These Drudagons will have rough skin, so you are going to be taking residual damage. So that's what you want to be careful of. I guess there is another way, another easy way that you can get through this. If you have an Ice-type Pokemon. So really, Vanillox, and I guess to that extent, if you pick Oshawott and taught a Blizzard, you'll be fine. I guess Bear Tick as well, but Bear Tick kind of slow, plus it's physical. And you are going to be taking damage from Rough Skin anyway. Alright. So I believe this is the next dragon. We have here, but we are going to be lowering this one's head as well. It is a little bit convoluted. And then it's going to make you just loop around and then hop on that one again. Alright, what can I even talk about? Can that oh. I'm dumb. We had to go this way. <laughs> Good job, Adam. You're stupid. <laughs> when was the last time you did this gym? Probably a few years back. Alright, I'll admit, it's been a few years since I've really play fully played through uh, Pokemon Black and White. But I still love this game to death, and I'm glad I'm playing it for you guys right now. This has been one of my favorite games to play for you guys on this channel. Right up there with Mario 64. And I've put so much work into making this as informational and as detailed as possible. And our team has been really through a lot. Like, these guys have really been, they've been stars throughout this whole thing. And I'm proud of each and every one of them, especially Polly here. Polly here is just wrecking shit up. All right, she's got a dino. And an extra to this, meaning we don't have to waste another Dragon Claw. It's funny how I haven't used Poison Jab once. I have not used Poison Jab once. I'm probably going to get rid of Poison Jab, to be perfectly honest, sooner or later. Because fairies don't exist. If we were dealing with fairies, yes, Poison Jab would be a good move for Polly. But not so much. Ah, oh, she's got a Drudagon too. Okay, we are definitely going to be healing up before we fight Drayden. I know we're getting close to the end at this point. Because once we kill you, that other dragon is going to lead us to that other dragon. That other dragon leading to that other dragon. Wording! I'm good at that. <laughs> I've proven that in all of my videos, how good I am with my words. I, I, I'm starting to think that a prerequisite of being a Let's Player is that you don't necessarily have to be a good wordsmith. <laughs> you can kind of fumble about, and it's, it's acceptable. So, alright. That will lead to that pathway up there. So now, I believe that this should lead us to our final... Let me just make sure. Yeah, because that leads behind that guy, and then this will lead to you. Alright, another veteran. 
We have 10 years experience battling. I will give you the taste of a veteran skill. You've only been a trainer for 10 years? Ma'am, I have been a trainer since I was age 6. Since 6 years. I've been training Pokemon for almost 20 years. Ever since the first games came out, well, then again, they came out in America in 98. Pokemon is technically over 20 years old, but not in America. Uh, the games came out in 98 in America, so they're... I think they're 19 now in America. Next year's gonna be Pokemon's 20th anniversary in America. Holy crap. Alright, does she have another Pokemon? Alright, uh, Polly hits level 47. My god, Polly's gained four levels. Uh, no, she's gonna have another fracture. Alright, we got this. Polly just dragon fall the crap out of it, and it's dead. Alright. Now, I think she should be the last trainer, if I recall her correctly, because, you know, from my memory banks, I played this game enough to just remember it in general. Alright, there we go. I guess the same time, the time spent is not everything. It's not how much time you spend, it's how you spend that time. Getting stronger is like walking down a road that never ends, no matter how much you fight. It's what this Dragon Gym is about, it's the secret of the Dragon's Backs. Speaking of the Dragon's Backs, we hop down here. This Dragon's Arm finally raises. The path to the gym leader is opened. Drayden awaits us at the top. Now, I am going to heal, and I am going to just restore, um... Do I have, I have ethers? I should have an ether somewhere. I do. Perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna use one ether on Polly's Dragon Claw. There we go. And then we're gonna Hyper Potion and Fully Heal Polly. So we're gonna Hyper Potion and Fully Heal Polly. We probably could just use a Super... Yeah, we could have just used a Super Potion anyway. Okay, that's it. Drayden is up here at the top. And he is ready for a battle. I say we save, get ourselves ready. Because this is it, guys. We are going to be battling for our final gym badge right now. How insane is this that we have pretty much reached close to the end of our journey? All right, Drayden. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I am Opelucid Pokemon Gym's leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to developing this city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. And I will show you that future via battle. All right, Drayden, time to show you what I'm made of. Drayden, the master of dragon types, the final gym leader of Unova. His first Pokemon is Fracture, level 41, with Dragon Dance, Dragon Rage, Assurance, and Dragon Tail. Now be careful. This thing knows Dragon Dance. It will not be afraid to set up and sweep you. So I'm going to be smart and use Dragon Dance myself, because I'm predicting he's going to use Dragon Dance as well. Unless he uses Dragon Tail, I'm gonna feel stupid if he uses- Oh no, he used Dragon Dance too! Okay, perfect! Alright, one Dragon Dance I think now is more than enough for Polly to completely sweep this entire gym. Polly, claw him up! Alright, this will definitely do it. I think we've assured our victory at this point, now that we've gotten the Dragon Dance up. <laughs> because we're not gonna be switching out, Polly's gonna be dealing- dealing with everything. Alright. His next Pokémon is gonna be his Drudagon! Oh, Drudagon is definitely gonna be a uh, rough Pokémon. Pun entirely intended because it has rough skin. Dragon level 41 with Revenge, Chip Away, Night Slash, and Dragon Tail. Now, the deal with Dragon Tail, which is uh, one of the moves that all of his Pokemon have. Dragon Tail is a move that will always move last. However, it will actually switch out your Pokemon. So I could have been running a very big risk with that Fracture Rod because I could have set up with Dragon Dance and he could have Dragon Tailed me out and that would have wasted my Dragon Dance. Anyway. His final Pokémon, his strongest by far, do not take this thing lightly, his Haxorus. Keep it up. Get him, Polly. Haxorus at level 43 with Dragon Dance, Assurance, Slash, and Dragon Tail. This really gets my blood pumping. The final time we're going to be hearing this amazing, amazing song. This Haxorus is no joke. Be very careful, because if it Dragon Dances, it will utterly sweep the ever-loving crap out of you. It's too bad it only knows Dragon Tail and doesn't know Dragon Claw. Because then it would just, because it would, it's only going to move last if it uses uh, Dragon Tail. However, because we have that Dragon Dance boost, I think we should outspeed it. Because we have plus one attack, I think Dragon Claw should one hit kill this almighty Haxorus. It's done. We have done it. All eight badges. The final gym leader done. Polly hits level 48. Atta boy, Polly. We have done it. And he wants to learn Sword Dance. Ooh, ah, uh, nah, we're gonna keep. Dragon Dance is much better. But that's it. Drayden is done. We've gotten our final badge. This intense feeling that floods me after defeat. I don't know how to describe it. Man, what a ride. Polly, I am so proud of you. You single handedly took out the final gym of Unova. You single handedly helped us get our last badge. And, Polly, I can't think of a better reward for you for single handedly taking down this final gym. 
than for you to evolve. Ollie's now a Haxorus. Our team is fully evolved. Wonderful. I'm grateful we had a chance to meet in battle. There it is, guys. The Legend Badge. Our final badge. Our case is complete. Well, now, you've obtained all the gym badges in Unoha. Now all Pokémon will obediently follow your commands. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. We get TM82 Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail is a move that returns the damage Pokémon to its Pokéball. In other words, it switches your opponent's Pokémon. Now, I have something to ask of you. Head for the Pokémon League and go after Alder. The Pokémon League is past Route 10, which runs from Opelousan City to Victory Road. I know Alder's strength, but I don't know the depths of N's power. Alright, is that all that you have to say? Yeah, that's all that you have to say. He knows all their strength, but he doesn't know the deaths of N power. N's power. Well, N has a legendary Pokemon on his side. But that's it. We have done it. All eight badges in our possession. Let's shine this bad boy up one final time. There it is. The legend badge. All Pokemon will obey us. We are the master of Unova. Well, not yet. We still have one final trial to go through. We still have to go through the Pokemon League, but that's it. Trio badge. Basic badge. Insect badge. Bolt badge. Quake badge. Jet Badge, Freeze Badge, and the Legend Badge. All eight badges in our possession, guys. And our team is fully evolved. Just look look how far they've come. Look, our team is now fully evolved. Will the Unvisited, Tony the Crook Crocodile, Polly the Haxorus, Carmine the Electros, Jonathan the Caracosta, Kevin the Embor. Guys, it's been a hell of a journey, and it's almost at its end. I seriously can't believe it. What do you got to say, Clyde? You beat the gym leader? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, by the way, since I gave you all that fresh water, don't you owe me some of your ways? I'm kidding. It's just a joke. No, seriously, congratulations. I love your sense of humor, Clyde. You're a good guy. I definitely owe you, man. You're a good guy, Clyde the Guide. Oh, the professor. Hello. Was Drayden as tough as ever? Oh, I came to report on how to resurrect the legendary Reshiram. I thought it would be better to tell you in person than over the, the cross transceiver. As for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sure the Pokémon will wake up when it deems someone worthy. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all eight of you know his gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but you've probably you've changed a lot since you've left New Bemitown. Well then, I'll show you where such a strong trainer should head next. Oh, it's been such a long time since Juniper's escorted us around. Ah, memories. Seasons change, time passes by. <laughs> As the weeks become the months, become the years. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Now on iTunes. Pass through that gate, go down Route 10, and you'll arrive at the Bad Check Gates. Once you get through Victory Road, which is past the gates, you're finally at the Pokemon League. Oh, that just made me think of when I was showing you around the Pokemon Center in Accumulatown. Adam, do you regret setting out on your Pokemon journey? Hell no. Thanks! That's the greatest answer you could give. I don't know why they give you that uh, that option to say yes, that you regret your journey. What person in their right mind would regret going on a journey like this? This is one of the best things you could ever do in your life. Because not only do you just get to go out and train Pokémon, you kind of have your own spiritual growth. We've come a long way. We've learned a lot about ourselves. So have our best friends. I was really happy to be able to give you three of those, those, three of those Pokémon as a present. Because those Pokémon create chances to meet more wonderful Pokémon and people. Adam, this is a present for you. And she gives us the Master Ball. This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokemon. It can catch any Pokemon without fail. This is the only way I can support you, except to say, be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong, and keep going with your Pokemon. See you. I hope I made you proud, Professor. We have come a long way. All eight badges in our possession. We are ready to finally head to the Pokemon League and see if Alder has defeated N. And if N fails, and if Team Plasma's plot fails, then we can just fight the Pokémon League and the Champion and see if we're strong enough to be considered the Champion of Unova. So that's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is that Alder loses, and that we have to fight N. But here's hoping that that doesn't happen. But we're gonna cut it here. Next time we're going to actually explore Opelousan City, maybe head out. I don't know, we'll see. There's some, there's some stuff that we can do. 
with all eight badges in our possession now. And we're going to start doing that in the next episode. But for now, we're going to cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Pokemon Black.